I'm forecaster Eric Poston from NeoWeather.com with your weather video forecast here on Friday, November 14th, 2014. Well, we've got a lot to talk about as our snow continues. It is really piling up in parts of the viewing area. We'll tell you just where that snow is piling up and how much more snow to expect because some of you are going to be absolutely buried by the end of today if you're not, if you're not already buried in some places. Even colder air next week. I'm sure you'd love to hear that news. And a general snow for everybody on Sunday. We'll talk about that coming up. Taking a look at the new weather 3D Max across the United States this morning. We've got a lot of uh, snow shower activity. I want to quickly just focus right into our area because there's a lot going on this morning here. So we've got these lake effect snow bands here setting up. And they are just pounding some snow here. We've got one stretching through the parts of Cuyahoga County and into northern Portage County. We've got another band here set up up through Ashtabula. So we've got a lot of uh, heavy lake effect snow in parts of the viewing area. So let's start with this band here. Some pretty good snows here from Lorraine over through Avon, then stretching into uh, parts of Lakewood, Parma, Garfield Heights, and then down through Twinsburg here, um, Solon. South Russell, so pretty good band of lake effect snow here just to the north of Kent and Ravenna. And then our second band here stretching through parts of uh, Perry, Madison, down here into Orwell. So some pretty good lake snows uh, cranking here. We'll put this into motion and, and give you an idea of how these uh, bands have kind of waffled around here as this loads up. You can see they've, uh, they, they oscillate around. That's typical lake effect. And, uh, but outside of that, really, you're pretty dry. You're seeing uh, just some uh, clouds, some breaks of sun, even from Canton to Wooster back towards Sandusky and Toledo. But I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see some lake effect snow showers at least start to impact a few areas here. Sandusky, Norwalk, Wooster, Canton, Alliance, Youngstown. Some, a few snow showers definitely in this area breaking off from these bands at times. But uh, nothing significant expected like these bands here dumping. As far as snowfall last night, you'll be surprised. These numbers are incredible here as we uh, pull things back real quick. And we'll, we'll show you some of the numbers here, possibly. So these were from last night. And this is already on top of a significant amount of snow that fell uh, yesterday. So you got four inches here. Uh, across the three to four inches across parts of Lorraine County. You got five inches here at uh, uh, Old Brooklyn. You've got uh, Garfield Heights, two and a half. You've got uh, six inches there just outside of Chardon, eight inches Geneva. Um, so anywhere from uh, here's five inches over by uh, the border. So you've got anywhere from two to as much as eight inches of snow. And this is already on top of anywhere from Gosh, some places already have over a foot of snow from uh, like Menor and a few other regions. So a lot of uh, lake effect snow here piling up across the area and it's going to continue through the day today. Here we go, taking a look at your almanac, 33 and 28 were the numbers for Thursday. Chilly day, picked up a trace there, Cleveland. Um, as far as averages, 52 and 38, records of 72 and 13, sunrise is 714, sunset is 508. So here we go with additional snowfall today and tonight, I think three to six inches, pretty good bet across uh, parts of eastern Cuyahoga County and up through the heart of the snow belt. Outside of that, one to three inches is a pretty good bet. Wouldn't be surprised if a couple areas in this three to six pick up maybe seven, maybe eight inches of snow. It's just all about where those squalls persist and dump the snow. So it's going to be a tough travel day along the lakeshore once again as this snow just continues to pound this region. And as I mentioned, we've got lake effect snow warnings there for Ashtabula, Lake Geauga, and Cuyahoga County, and a lake effect snow advisory for Portage and Trumbull counties. And that those run through. Um, early tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a uh, snowy next, uh, oh, not quite 24 hours, but just under that. But here we go with your forecast for the day. Lake Snow East, that's pretty much the story. Snow Belt region's picking up on it. Can't rule out some snow showers outside of that. It's going to be cold. We started out many places in the low to mid 20s this morning, and we're going to climb into the upper 20s by this afternoon and then into the lower 30s 
uh, as we make our way towards time to head home. But um, that west wind of 10 to 15 miles per hour continuing to drive those lake effect snow bands. Same story tonight. The lake effect snow continues. 23 uh, west wind 10 to 15 continuing. And as we move along here, I think we'll start to dry things out Saturday. We could have a little bit of lake effect snow around in the morning, but I think things will finally start to calm down a little bit. But not for long as we have our next system swinging in. Saturday night, Sunday, bringing some light snow. I think everyone could pick up an inch, maybe two inches. We'll see how this pans out for the entire region, but it will not be a major event. 36 for your Sunday, so a little warmer. Some scattered snow on thir uh, Monday, 35. We're keeping an eye on a system that's going to track up the East Coast, and depending on exactly how this storm tracks, could throw some snow our way or may stay just to the east of us. We'll keep you updated on that. And then here we go again Monday night and Tuesday, more lake effect snow and the models are pumping out some pretty good lake effect snow once again, so this could be more heavy lake effect snow for lake effect regions with really cold air moving in 24, 15 for your overnight Tuesday night, 30 for Wednesday with a few snow showers early and partly sunny and we'll dry things out again Thursday, 37. So stay updated at newweather.com, new weather Facebook, Twitter. With uh, all the information on what you need to know as this lake effect snow continues to pound parts of the viewing area. Oh,